Hello and welcome back to our channel, 4 Wheels Speed. Today's video is about the 2023 Honda Accord LX trim. This would be the lowest trim available in Honda Accord sedans. Before we start, we would appreciate your support by subscribing to our channel. This helps us bring more content to our viewers. And if you also comment on my videos, that would make my day. The hardest part about setting the bar is you'll forever be judged against it. Honda has been a leader in the contracting sedan market for years, with the old Accord winning many awards. If you want the best price of the new Accord, start at the bottom. The base LX and Next Step EX models come with a 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine and continuously variable transmission. Fuel economy comes out about even compared to last year's car and remains respectable at 29 city, 37 highway, and 32 mpg combined. At 192 horsepower and 192 foot-pound of torque, the little engine is appropriately powerful for the car. The turbo comes on quickly and makes the car pretty zippy off the line as basic midsize sedans go. Honda's CVT remains one of the best around, changing ratios quickly and smoothly and making the most of the available power. The brake pedal is a little vague, but the relationship between pedal travel and stopping power is correct, and the car stops well. The electric power steering provides just a little bit of road feedback, and the weighting feels natural and predictable. While the Accord is no sport sedan, the suspension controls the body movements nicely, and the weight transfer as you go around corners feels deliberate and dignified. The front seats are comfortable for long drives, and there's plenty of bin space for your phone and other items. A pair of USB-C ports are easy to access and provide fast charging, along with wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The styling is new and distinctive. The rear looks maybe like a Toyota Mirai. The small wheels and balloon tires on the low-trim cars look odd in today's world, even if they provide a bit more cushion in the ride. Move up the trim levels, and it's a more mixed bag. Hybrid fuel economy is up slightly across the board, and that's the best thing we can say about the powertrain that will power the majority of new Accords. But don't get discouraged, this new Accord is going to perform very well considering what you get for the price you pay. Now let me slow down a bit because my voice gets tired and I feel I am rushing this review. The audio system on the base and mid-range cars offers good sound quality. If you need more, the top trim includes a Bose-branded setup that sounds considerably better. That touring trim also gets built-in Google features including Maps, Google Assistant, and integration with your Google slash Android ecosystem of accounts and devices. It's also the only way to get a built-in navigation system. All big screen infotainment setups are also Alexa compatible. Moving rearward, the back seat has a ton of legroom and hip room, and the seats are comfortable, but things get tight up top. Out back, the Accord offers a huge trunk you'll struggle to overburden on an airport run. If you do somehow, there are releases for the rear seats, though there's a hump between the trunk and seats. Underneath the floor, low-trim gas engine cars get a spare tire, more expensive hybrid cars get a compressor and fix a flat to save weight. The hybrid models provide a bit of regenerative braking out of the box, and you can increase this with the steering wheel paddles. However, your setting resets to default after every braking event unless you pull and hold the left paddle until a little M appears next to the D drive indicator in the instrument cluster. Still, we strongly recommend using as much regenerative braking as you can so you can avoid using the pedal as much as possible. It's completely spongy and has no discernible relationship between how far you push it and stopping power. If a car to you is transportation meant to get you here and there as efficiently as possible, the 2023 Accord nails it. The hybrid powertrain returns great fuel economy, the new interior is a big step forward, Honda's complete suite of active and passive safety features are standard, and it has all the right optional amenities, if you're willing to pay 30% more to get them. Base price starts at $28,390, and it goes up based on the trim level you want. Infotainment and connectivity. An upright 7-inch or 12.3-inch touchscreen display provides easy access to the Accord's infotainment system 
and all models, regardless of trim, come with a 10.2-inch digital gauge display standard. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are included across the lineup, but only those with the larger 12.3-inch touchscreen offer wireless connectivity for those features. High-end touring trims come with a wireless smartphone charging pad, a 6-inch head-up display, and a 12-speaker Bose stereo system. Now this will conclude our review from today. Thank you for listening to this information, and we would love to see you come back to our channel.